I've shown y'all that I painted my kitchen cabinets before, but I never explained exactly how I did it in video. First, you're going to want to pick a paint color. I recommend getting a lot of the shades of the color that you want to take home and sample. Before I painted, I took my cabinets up to the ceiling and then I took off the doors. For the first one, do one dot. Second one, I do two dots and so on. Um, the first one is one dot, two dot. I added dots on the back of the hinges so I know exactly where they went because you're going to want to put them exactly back where they were. I also labeled a bag so I could keep track of exactly where they go. Two goes to this cabinet, one goes to this cabinet. So one, two, three, and four. I'm not doing these yet, so we're just gonna start with this. My cabinets are MDF covered in a slick, shiny veneer. They're not real wood, so I did sand them, but only with a quick swipe of the orbital sander. And then I cleaned them really good. I did the same process with the doors. Again, you don't want to sand too much because you don't want to sand through the veneer. Okay, I also did the doors. Got to go over those with some um, of the deglosser, degreaser. The prep work is so important when painting your cabinets. I ended up going over the doors with that deglosser and then I went over it with water, paper towel and water too because it had a film left on it. I am going to go over the cabinets real quick and the doors with a um, tack cloth. Also, the brand and type of paint you use is really important. I'm using Bare Cabinet and Trim Enamel and their primer that goes with it. You saw me pick out the color earlier. The color is Pewter Green by Sherwin-Williams. You can use a Sherwin-Williams color in a Bare paint. I'm surprised with how many people didn't know you could do that. Sherwin-Williams also has a really good cabinet paint, but it's more expensive and I was on a pretty tight budget here. From my research, the bare cabinet and trim enamel compared with the Sherwin-Williams pretty closely. You saw me prime it and here I'm painting it. It looks really dark because I was keeping the color a secret when I was sharing this in stories and that is the only video I have. I used a foam roller and a zebra paintbrush to paint the cabinet boxes with the primer and the paint. Since the doors are more important because they're more visible, I went and bought a Wagner sprayer. I have recently upgraded to a Graco sprayer that's amazing. It is a lot more pricey than this one though. If you look closely here, I am using a brush for the edges and then I roll the middle parts and then I go back over where I rolled with a brush because the foam roller was creating bubbles for some reason. This paint is pretty thin and I'm not sure if that's why. Here is after everything is painted and I'm putting the doors back on. You can see why labeling the hinges is important. So I did one dot on the back of the hinge for the top left, two dots for the bottom left, three dots for the top right, and then four dots for the bottom right, if that makes sense. And here's where you can see I put the dots. This method works really well for me. And then when you add them back on, sometimes they're not going to be straight. So what you do, you open your door and you can adjust the doors up or down with these. So you just loosen these a little bit in here and you slide it up where it needs to be and then you tighten them. These hinges are pretty easy to adjust. See, there you go. Now they're straight. Now again, it is important that you label your drawer fronts. So I'm going to put these out just a little bit so they come through. That way, when I go to line up this hole with this side and this side, there's no guesswork. I just put it in and screw it the rest of the way in and we're good. Now again, here's where we started and here's where it is today. And for all the negative Nancys out there that hate painted wood, this isn't even real wood, so it'll be fine. And for those of you that think that paint doesn't last, it's been three years and they're almost perfect still. I've only had to touch up one drawer, which is our silverware drawer that we use most often. But I am more than happy to paint a drawer every once in a while for this look.